Replaceable parts. Oh, if I actually had Musketman, that would be a really, really good thing. But hint, I don't at all. Bombing will resume now against this city. I think I can probably come in and just steal it immediately with this tank. That's the second to last Chinese city now, which means I believe they only have the one more. We'll just have a quick look and see. Uh, see, 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 yeah, yeah, they only have the one city. So this is now wiping China out of the game. I actually have two artillery that are ready to fire, so I'm actually going to make use of them while I can because it's a novelty to actually use regular siege weaponry against China. I don't need to because now my bombers are going to come in. Uh, they will be taking damage because unfortunately there is some air defense there because they have battleships now. But it's about time I've met some resistance to my airplanes, to be fair. So there's one, two, and then this final attack here should knock the walls down. Bring the tank in. Let's push that great general back. And then with this attack, we should have defeated China. I never thought this could happen. Not like this. <laughs> I'm so satisfied. God damn it, China, you were, oh, you were terrifyingly tough to beat. Anyway, I'm in a golden age. How come I'm nowhere near a golden age? That is like ridiculous. Oh, man, Hong Kong is my friend, right? Hong Kong helped me with city projects. Hong Kong needs to sort that goddamn aluminium out immediately because if they do not improve that, I am gonna have to come in there and God damn it. Oh, I don't even want to think about it. In fact, actually, I'm just going to get some builders all the way through my Chinese land. All of these conquered cities. I just need to get some builders to actually make sure that all of this pillage stuff that I, uh, I, I may have left behind after my conquest is all fixed. Because this is good, good cities. You know, I can massively improve my, my sort of empire just by making sure all of these cities are firing on full cylinders, which I... Will do eventually. Most of these builders, they're going to be doing nothing but repairing tiles. That's like the main job for them right now. Aha! Sergei Korolev. This is the guy I want. Space race. I'm not going to be able to use him immediately, but I'll use him eventually. I'm actually giving all my troops just a minute or two to just get themselves back together because the Kemmer are my next targets. These guys will be, I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to destroying these guys pretty. Pretty nicely, my actually the first two cities into their territory even have crusade belief, which is really, really funny. Um, my air attacks are going to make short work of most of these Kemen cities, but until then, we could we could start to pillage just for the hell of it. I mean, this guy pillaging only costs one movement, right? So I could get him into here and just go nom, nom, nom. Okay, that was very satisfying. You know what, this military engineer, I may just treat myself to a nice, uh, nice little airstrip because these bombers can't quite get close enough. This one can. This one is doing absolutely fine. So, uh, let us have a look about this. this I, can, I can reach this city with not much trouble at all. Let's see how much an air attack does here. Oh, wow. Okay, that's most of the walls in one bombing run. That's a good start. So that city is pretty much to the floor now. If I move this cavalry into here, I can then do one bombing run over the top to do some damage to this city, like so. Oh, so next turn we should should get the, the, the sort of final hit on that one. We'll go to this cavalry corps. I've got an upgrade with these guys. Uh, yeah, let's get the kill. Last turn, he literally told me that I was his best friend and now he's denounced me. There's a lot of people are denouncing me. Pretty much my allies are the only guys not denouncing me right now. I think has even Indonesia has decided they don't like me like immediately after the alliance dropped. I think I think so. Where are they? Yeah, they have. They have. So nobody stays friends with me for that long anymore. But you know what? You can kind of see why, seeing as I've just swallowed up the entirety of China. Uh, now this Kemmer attack, how much are they going to attack? Ooh. They're attacking my artillery. That, my friends, is mean. I don't approve of that behaviour. Still just picking up all these points as soon as I can. Sanitation. Oh, all of these spy missions are a success now. Everything's coming together. Everything is coming together. In fact, my spies are, are actually doing me a lot of good. A lot of good. Bombers, you continue to attack when, of course, you're not levelling up. That is an annoying sort of just... 
I, I, I don't know, like byproduct of, of the fact that you guys are attacking really, really well. What was the other one? It's in here, wasn't it? Let's see, anything I don't like about air strips is that the bombers sort of, you have to sort of click into them to get to them, which is a little bit annoying. Right, this city should be an instant take. Yeah, it is. Keep that city. And then this one should be very... So oh, no, it's not. It's not. Right, hang on. You come to there. You come to there. And then it's going to be a double attack. So that one is... Up. Actually, is that one going to just take it? That will well just take it. Good. Good, 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 good. Okay, loyalty is a problem, mate. Why is loyalty a problem here? I'm going to have to... Get old Liang. You're going to have to make your way to my newest of cities. Like so. That should be zero. Good. Right, everyone's happy. Everyone's happy, apart from the people that are not happy. Aha, he has finally arrived. Right, listening post. Increased diplomatic activity. Wonderful. Visibility, I should say. Now, the Kemmer should be immediately falling into my plan. I never got a trading post down with these guys, which is... A little bit annoying, but it doesn't stop my artillery from still doing a pretty decent amount of damage to just that wall over the top. In fact, actually, I've got lots of artillery. Lots of artillery that can shoot over the top of a lot of things in order to get a lot of hits on people. So actually, if I move my observation balloon back one, right, you can now fire over the top. Good. Right. Wonderful. In fact, actually, you come to there. This artillery can now fire at that guy. And you can fire at this encampment. As I say, most of it is just getting levels. That's kind of half of the battle here, just leveling up my units slowly but surely. Although now that I've moved my observation balloon the other direction, I need to move them back. There you go, visibility was a problem. But that's fine. How are my bombers going to do? Uh, I've got intel on opponent's movements. That aluminium is really, really, really annoying. In fact, Indonesia, can I get a little bit of aluminium from you? No, no, I can't. What about Australia? Where's Australia? They've denounced me. They're unlikely to give me any aluminium. Uh, in fact, they don't even know what aluminium is. That's probably not a good sign. I don't think anyone's going to be able to give me aluminium. Okay, never mind. Never mind. This bomber, what is that bomber doing over there? Come now. I mean, you could just bomb that pike and shop. That's actually a very ineffective move. Huh. All right, well, you rebase to... Uh, this city. Right, so I've got three bombers, three attacks on this city. I think I might I might just cash in and see what I can do really. So this is gonna be one attack in like so. Okay, they're getting levels. This is how my bombers are gonna upgrade now. Two uh, followed by three. Is that the walls down? Or oh, not quite. Not quite. Hang on, my cavalry can probably come through. An attack. Right, so you attack this guy. Uh, where's, where are my tanks? I swear I own more tanks than this. You, you get to there. And then you come to there. We've got this guy pretty surrounded now. Should be able to take the city. You would hope. Yes. Oh, but now I share a border with India. They don't like that, but tough. Tough. I get the feeling this war is going to be a little bit more rapid than the last. Uh, so let's just start taking cavalry units. Can you win that for me? Yes, I can. Beautiful, beautiful. In fact, this tank corps can immediately jump in uh, uh, and get the charge. Actually, I've got, I've got a few cavalry units now that are all starting to get that, that one, one tile, like one movement pillage option, which is really, really useful for me. Um, Observation, but it's okay. Right, actually, this guy is annoying. You need to get lost immediately. Get the flanking in. You attack. Is it not going to do it? No, you're not going to actually be able to attack. Rubbish. Rubbish. Where's my. There we go. Right, Phil Cannon, you get into position. Oh, even Japan is turning on me now. That's interesting because I've been looking at getting Saul into my empire for some time now. Oh my goodness, what was that noise? It was an elephant. Oh, it's just a horrific noise. Okay, fine. Well, they killed a cavalry unit of mine, which is a little bit annoying. But I'm about to get research labs, and research labs means I'm not very far from helicopters. And you know what helicopters mean? It means hilarity. I was building the Eiffel Tower. Cool. I, I didn't even realize I was building the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> okay, 
Fantastic. Oh, research labs. Research labs are just no nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Right. Uh, levy on mass. I'm in desperate need of that sort of shite. Force modernization. You are of no use to me. Right. Now, what else can I be getting? Builders are always good, but my turns are long enough as it is. I'm not entirely sure I need to jump down that route just now. I mean, what else could I get? Lots of extra gold? Eh. I mean, that might be good. Or I could get Oclicarchic Legacies. It's not going to get me anything, unfortunately. Native Conquest? That could be quite fun. Or just Total War. I might just get Total War. Total War is quite fun. It means I can come in and pillage pretty effectively. Oh, and I stole a city. Cool. That was a three city and everything. All of these, like, beautiful... That must have Russian settlement, that one. Oh, beautiful. In fact, <gasps> it's given me access to more oil. I'm getting 30 from improvements. It thinks, it thinks I don't have enough oil, but I will show the game. I will show the game. Look at this, right, get all this and wabam, more oil into my empire, beautiful. And loads of coal, lovely. Just move these bombers closer. There we go, look, you can see there's more, more cities just, just out of reach, just out of visibility for us. I don't know why. Why can't I attack that city? I think there might be a mountain in the way. Right, you rebase a little bit further forward. Good, right, can you attack? You should be able to attack. There we go, yeah. Wonderful, that's a perfect attack. And what about this one? Can you jump over the mountains? Oh yes, death rains from above. Um, these, these units are all starting to really annoy me now because it's just so pointless. Like there's no way they're going to kill me or do anything that's like remotely useful. Right, you get that kill done, and then, uh, oh, this is really annoying. Yeah, all right, level up, level up, depredation. Amazing skill. Actually, this city can do one one more strike, so you quickly, do you, are you gonna let me do the attack? Here we go, like that. Oh, I don't get the kill, that's really unfortunate. At the moment, we, we are literally just sort of playing a game of where will my bombers strike today. I mean, I'm just still, still hunting for that elusive aluminium, which seems to just be never quite there for me to strike. Are you going? Oh, come on, stop it. Right, there we go. This visibility is really annoying with bombers. Uh, where's this one? Uh, nope, that's a field cannon. There's a bomber. You strike as well. Uh, followed by, I think I had one more. Where's my last bomber? Oh, there he is. You're ages away. Can you still strike the city? No, you can't even strike the city. Terrible. So once I've got rocketry, let's get nuclear fission, combined arms, and then we'll get synthetic materials and then satellites, all in that order. But we are getting lots and lots of science per turn now. We're starting to push, push the limits of what we thought was possible. Uh, can I just totally surround this city with tanks and stuff? Yes, I can. How much will my attacks do? Lots. Lots and lots and lots and lots. So actually, I should be able to just force this city over. Look at that. This is what Crusade does. And yet another one, yet another one falls. All of these places that can now build research labs. My science is going to explode the next couple of turns. I can just, just tell. It's going to be great. Pingala, can you help get me some more culture? Because my god, my culture is just atrocious. I mean, I know it's not even atrocious, but I just seem to like never have as much culture as I need. And just when you thought it was bad enough for them, in come the battleships to a... Uh, yeah, sorry, my battleship is going to shoot an elephant. I would feel terrible, but it is sort of hilarious. Could you imagine the, the technicalities? So, there's an elephant on the battlefield. Well, just bomb it with the battleship. <laughs> <laughs> Overkill, potentially. Actually, I can now get armies, can't I? That's interesting. Let's start, start to form some armies up just to just make this really interesting. 79 strength. Okay, they're still not quite as good as tank cores, but that's interesting. Because I can start to purchase in a couple of extra tanks now and start making armies. Ooh, rocketry. Definitely will be doing that in my uh, capital as soon as I can. These little cities are desperately trying to be relevant. 
I'm not entirely sure they're going to actually ever get there, but you know, I, I, I appreciate the fact that they're trying. Um, all these cities are great. Look at these shiny cities. Oh, they're starting to really produce lots of science for me now. In fact, actually, if we, if we have a look, I really should start typing in capitals the names of the cities that I change myself because it would help me remember what I've done and what I haven't done. But Zion, yeah, 20, almost 20 science per turn that's coming from that one. So it all helps. All helps. In the meantime, bombers, they just sort of play this very slow dance as they make their way slowly to the front line after upgrading. If they look a bit injured, chances are they've got a promotion. It's, it's just, oh, it's just really annoying because every single one of them, I just, I'd rather we would have just shot this turn. You know what I mean? But no, we do have two battleships though. That's quite fun. So the two battleships, actually, if you sit in there, 15% when defending in that tile. Okay, defending rather than attacking. I'll, I'll remember that. Uh, this cavalry unit, actually, if I move you to here, right now the battleships can see, they can start pelting that wall, which they will, but they wouldn't do that much to it. Okay, so instead we're gonna just, should we destroy some units? Probably should destroy some units instead, shall we? I love it when you take over somewhere and you just start to slowly bring it on board and say like, look, look, look how much better managed this is without the Chinese here. I'm just doing so much of a better job. Oh, beautiful land. Just all these like little adjacency bonuses, stuff that hasn't been like fixed or, or like not that it hasn't been fixed but just stuff that was never improved you just sort of look at it and you're like oh come on come on i could have done so much better with this it's fine though it's fine more bombers on the uh scythian front we should be able to do quite a quick job on this one i would think especially because some of these cities just no defensive strength at all Ugh, i almost don't want to take over that city though because that's the capital and the capital is the one my spy is in. I'm going to have to maybe find another city before I do that. You know what? Yeah, let's just take it take it a little bit slow. You just kill this guy. So I've got a melee unit that's sort of in range. Uh, I could attack. I could attack that capital. But yeah, I'm going to. Never mind. No! Stop it! I am not giving you embassies. I wish I was just a command I could put in on this game that just said stop it. And people are still giving me gifts. I still find that to be hilarious. I'm just letting it stockpile because I know at some point this is going to stop and the world will go to war with me and I'm going to just be drained of all gold. So I'm just, I'm ready for that day. I've just moved artillery in everywhere onto the border you can see, but all they, they can't. They just can't kill me quick enough because of my uh, tank cores. I'm using like 90 strength now. Look at that. Did you see that? The, the Mori Corsa just, just like appeared, attacked, and got killed. I mean, honestly, what? What's the point? What's the point in there? Um, but yeah, the camera front, I'm, I, as soon as I've broken through this line of cities, it's just going to be like a nice straight run to the rest of them. Although they do have cities like across the sea. Which is a little bit of a problem. My bombers will have to do most of that work, but the bombers are down pretty powerful. I mean, I could go towards stealth technology. Yeah, I'm going for nukes and then for helicopters. Maybe I should go for stealth instead of satellites. What do you reckon? Might be tempted by that, actually. All right, we've actually got an opportunity here because a lot of my alliances have just expired, and on the turn that they expire, oh, oh, for goodness. Here we go again! So here we are at the end of yet another playthrough corrupted and ruined by the crashing of the game. I'm really annoyed. I am getting a little fed up of this and I I don't know what it is. I've been exploring through different save files, re-rendering it. It's been about a week since the end of the last recording. So that scene you saw just now when it crashed, that was about a week ago. I've been working at it around work and at home in the evenings. Uh, I spent a lot of time on it this weekend. I cannot get the save file to work and it's something about that turn. Again, I have played it back. I've gone two, three, four, five turns back and played through. I've tried loading it on the turn. I've tried loading it the day before. Turning off mods, turning on mods. I don't know what it is. I strongly suspect 
but it is because of the number of sibs in the game on the TSL map, which is very big, and my laptop cannot handle it. I, I genuinely think that's the thing. My laptop should be able to handle it, right? I, I, I'm very lucky in the sense that the gaming laptop I use, uh, I, what is it, a Lenovo Y700. Okay, it's not going to blow the world away, but it's got i7 processor, it's got uh, a pretty good GeForce graphics card, it's got 16 gigs of RAM, it's a pretty good laptop. It should be able to run this if it you know, if it it was capable of doing so and the game was stable enough, it should be able to do it. I even use a second laptop to actually do the recordings. It's not even a split processing issue. It's purely the fact that something in this file isn't working. And it's really, really, really annoying. I have got this game. I've got the Brazil game as well. Um, and I have got... Ah, uh, I don't know, it's, it's, it's something about those two. This one wasn't even on Deity, that's the confusing thing. I thought I thought it was on Deity difficulty being the problem, but I don't know what it is. I am forced at the moment to, to call this game to a halt. I know it's really annoying, I'm so sorry, and, and I'm really gutted. I don't mean to start these playthroughs genuinely and have them being put up on my, you know, channel for the best part of a month, mind, and... It, it crash on me like this. It, it, it's really infuriating. But that doesn't mean we can't put other fun stuff up. I've got loads of different ideas. There's a, a funny video or two that I've put up or have put up or will put up recently on the uh, Pantheon bug which is going around at the moment which is hilarious. I've got another series slash challenge I'm going to offer up to everybody to have a go at which I think should be really fun. And I've got various ideas but it means no TSL content for a little bit on that large map. I don't trust that large map. I will do another playthrough with the smaller map and see if I can do that and I might limit the game to the 21 saves or 22 or whatever it is that is the normal maximum amount of saves because then I'm eliminating things that could potentially break. I might give that a go on Deity. I really want to do an English Empire game. I know the map's not as spectacular and it's a little bit smaller but I think it's better doing that than loading up the huge map and putting only 20 people on it because that would be a very well people would have a lot of space to, to move about and it, it wouldn't necessarily be the funnest that mongolian playthrough i think we we're all pretty happy that i was going to win that it was a similar outcome to the rome empire once you get going and the science was there and the science was there i'd taken over all the career and they were giving me loads of stuff and that was all very good but it would have been fun to continue it. I think I was only 10 turns or so away from being able to develop thermo nukes and, and regular nukes and all kinds of goodies. And I was looking forward to bringing my cavalry through India and then sort of doing the Genghis Khan conquering of Europe. Maybe I'll play them again. Maybe I'll do this again on a smaller app. I don't know. Lots of different ideas. But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. It's been fantastic having you guys following this playthrough it's mad absolutely mad that people are commenting and, and watching and subscribing in numbers that are totally alien to what i have experienced before it's been really sweet thank you so much for all of that support and i'm sorry that this particular playthrough has broken but please don't turn off because of that we've got some really cool stuff coming up which should be just as fun i've got some various ideas but in the meantime do comment if you want to see anything in particular i've got various builds going with the autoplay mod which is hilarious fun i'm going to be doing another world tournament uh, to see who the best civ under this particular patch with gathering storm is i've got a couple of mods i want to test out i've got a couple of challenges and what i'm about to film just in a moment will be a really fun uh deity shuffle challenge which i'm i'm sort of looking forward to having a go at but yeah i'm a little annoyed i'm really sorry about that i hope you guys have enjoyed this enough thank you so much for all the comments and all of the subscriptions it is just it, yeah, it's 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 amazing actually having people watch. I've been doing this for about five years now, and it's the first time that I've ever really you know significantly had feedback whilst filming a series. I I'm not entirely sure what to do with myself. There's this obligation now to actually make sure what I'm filming is decent and watchable, which before I was just sort of effectively shouting into a dark, unkept corner of the internet that nobody was lurking in and I could do effectively what I wanted. But now you guys actually seem to be watching what I'm doing, which is 
crazy. Um, I'm almost at 300 subscribers now, which is mad. I was on like 200 at the start of the year, so this isn't a 50% increase in like the space of, of like two months people have been jumping on board. I'm getting the equivalent of like 10,000 views a month now, where before I was getting about 1,000 a month, and that's only been in the space of about three months that's increased. If you guys could do one thing for me, just spread the word. It, it all really, really helps. The more people that get on board, I do think YouTube has a little bit of a, um, a self-fulfilling echoing effect. If, if once a channel gets a certain amount of attention, people then flick to that channel and go, oh, that person's got, say, a thousand subscribers brilliant I'm gonna stick around and there is a little bit of that and, and, and when you don't have very much interest it can be a little bit difficult to make yourself heard but we're doing good we're really doing good keep those comments coming in keep watching looking forward to the next series see you later bye